narrated by Thumama. Anas said, Um Sulaim used to spread a leather sheet for the Prophet peace be upon him, and he used to take a midday nap on that leather sheet at her home. Anas added, when the Prophet peace be upon him had slept, she would take some of his sweat and hair and collect it the sweat in a bottle and then mix it with suk, a kind of perfume, while he was still sleeping. When the death of Anas bin Malik approached, he advised that some of that suk be mixed with his hunnet, perfume for embalming the dead body, and it was mixed with his hunnet. Narrated by Anas bin Malik Whenever Allah's messenger peace be upon him went to Cuba, he used to visit Um Haram bint Milhan who would offer him meals, and she was the wife of Ubaidah bin Asumit. One day he went to her house and she offered him a meal, and after that he slept, and then woke up smiling. She, Um Haram, said, I asked him, What makes you laugh, O oh Allah's messenger peace be upon him? He said, some people of my followers were displayed before me as warriors fighting for Allah's cause and sailing over the sea, kings on thrones, or said, like kings on thrones. The narrator, Ishaq is in doubt about it. I, Um Haram, said, O oh Allah's apostle. Invoke Allah that he may make me one of them. He invoked, Allah, for her and then lay his head and slept again and then woke up smiling. I asked, What makes you laugh, O oh Allah's messenger peace be upon him? He said, Some people of my followers were displayed before me as warriors fighting for Allah's cause and sailing over the sea, kings on the thrones, or said, Like kings on the thrones. I, Um Haram, said, O oh Allah's messenger peace be upon him. Invoke Allah that he may make me one of them. He said, you will be amongst the first ones. It is said that Um Haram sailed over the sea at the time of Muawiyah, and on coming out of the sea, she fell down from her riding animal and died. Narrated by Abu Sa'id al Qudri. The Prophet, peace be upon him, forbade two kinds of dresses and two kinds of bargains, Ishtimal as Sama and al Atiba in one garment with no part of it covering one's private parts. The two kinds of bargains were Al Malamasa and Al Munabadha. Narrated by Aisha. Mother of the believers, we, the wives of the Prophet peace be upon him, were all sitting with the Prophet peace be upon him, and none of us had left when Fatima came walking, and by Allah, her gait was very similar to that of Allah's messenger peace be upon him. When he saw her, he welcomed her, saying, Welcome. O oh my daughter. Then he made her sit on his right or his left, confided something to her, whereupon she wept bitterly. When he noticed her sorrow, he confided something else to her for the second time, and she started laughing. Only I from among the Prophet's wives said to her, O oh Fatima, Allah's messenger peace be upon him selected you from among us for the secret talk and still you weep. When Allah's messenger peace be upon him got up and went away, I asked her, what did he confide to you? She said, I wouldn't disclose the secrets of Allah's messenger peace be upon him. But when he died I asked her, I beseech you earnestly by what right I have on you, to tell me, that secret talk which the Prophet had with you, she said, as you ask me now, yes, I will tell you. She informed me, saying, when he talked to me secretly the first time, he said that Gabriel used to review the Quran with him once every year. He added, but this year he reviewed it with me twice, and therefore I think that my time of death has approached. So, be afraid of Allah, and be patient, for I am the best predecessor for you in the hereafter. Fatima added, so I wept as you, Aisha witnessed. And when the Prophet peace be upon him saw me in this sorrowful state, he confided the second secret to me saying, O oh Fatima! Will you not be pleased that you will be chief of all the believing women, or chief of the women of this nation, means my followers. <laughs>